You see, we as humans are tool makers. It's what we do best. It's what separated us from all the other animals. Tools not only allow us to understand the world better, but they also allow us to be faster and a lot more powerful and a lot more efficient. In his book, The Wealth and Poverty of Nations, David Lance talks about the invention of invention. And according to Lance, there are five inventions that had a significant amount of impact on not only us as humans, but on the entire planet. Those five inventions are the water wheel, magnifying lenses, the mechanical clock, printing press, and gunpowder. The water wheel allowed us to use running rivers as a source of energy. But the invention of accessories such as cranks and gears allowed us to transfer that energy into a distant place and turn it into a mechanical motion. So, cloth was being pounded, metal was being hammered, hops were being mashed, and racks were being pulped for paper. Imagine what kind of an efficiency that brings to all those industries. Then we had the magnifying lenses. Now, the first thing that the magnifying lenses did for us humans was to solve a biological problem. You see, around the age of 40, the crystalline lens in our eyes begins to harden, and that causes us to become farsighted. The development of magnifying lenses became what we know today as reading glasses. But that's not the cool part, you see. The cool part is that magnifying lenses allowed us to develop precision instruments, which is going to lead us to the next invention, and that's going to be clockworks. Now, clockworks became the mechanical clock. And in case you didn't know, timekeeping wasn't something that the average person would keep themselves busy with. Today, we are thinking about time all the time. But back then, people had the church bells or some other sign of the indication of the afternoon or the morning or noon itself. Now, what the clockwork did, or the mechanical clock, once it was developed, is first of all, it opened up a whole market for gadgets. Then it delegated timekeeping, which was usually done by the church or some other governing entity, to the average person. Not only were average people able to organize their days a lot more accurately, but time became the number one tool to measure productivity. Imagine that. Next, there is the printing press. Now, the printing press did a few things. First of all, it allowed us to fixate our knowledge onto paper and to spread it on a mass scale. You could somewhat say that the printing press allowed us to scale our ideas, but it also influenced the paper industry and paper production, because without paper, there wouldn't be no mass scale spreading of ideas and publishing of books. Now, without the printing press, I wouldn't be recommending this book to you, and neither would I have been reading it myself. And last but not least, we have gunpowder. Now, why was this such an important invention? You see, the Chinese had been using gunpowder way before anywhere else in the world knew even what gunpowder was. They were using it in their military, in fireworks. But gunpowder became really important once the Europeans started to use it. You see, they would corn the powder, which means that they would compress it into small kernels and pebbles. Not only would that ignite faster, but the release of energy was way more powerful than if you would use it in powder form. So, along with the development of metal industries, gunpowder gave the Europeans one of the most superior arsenal the history of mankind had ever seen. And in a world where seas were being explored and lands were being expanded, well, gunpowder surely became an important invention. So what's the takeaway here? Well, it's very simple if you ask me. If you're working on something and you feel that you can improve the work by either designing a new tool for it or invent a new procedure, do it, man. Don't hold back. You never know what your design is going to lead to. You never know what you're depriving the world of. So, We're planning to make the most comprehensive series on tailoring that has ever existed available for the entire world. We can never develop a deep understanding of our surroundings, of the world, of our life, of ourselves, 
if we never ask why. Why is this? Why on earth? Why? 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 Why would someone... It already looks like a dress. Every single step is formulated and clearly articulated. Di 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 direction. My name is Reza. This was today's lesson. I look forward to seeing the next one. Ciao.